Good morning and welcome to What's New with Career Force, January 2nd, 2020. What we're talking about today and speakers. We have Mike Lang, he will go over the Creative Job Search Renaming Contest uh, and announce the winning name. And Rita Beatty will walk through all walk staff and partner section of the CareerForceMN.com. And then I, Lisa Snyder, will go over the new features on CareerForceMN.com. We'll go over the platform updates, the executive order, and service cards. And then Jackie Buck, um, she'll go over the Career Navigator section. All right, now thank you everybody for submitting your names uh, for the Creative Job Search Rename Contest. We really appreciate all the uh, thought that was going into this. Um, uh, as you recall, as we launched the Career Force brand, um, uh, the Creative Job Search name was at the time not felt uh, to be in line with the Career Force branding, um, which uh, created the need for a rename contest to, uh, uh, to occur as we chose a new name for the, the Creative Job Search workshop and materials. And so the new name will be, and this is a drum roll, please. There it's slide. <laughs> Creative job search. <laughs> uh, we are we we have found through the process of bringing Career Force into or out of the WIF grant and into standard practice that there is room to allow for the use of the term job in the uh, uh, materials and resources and, 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 and opportunities. As you may notice, CareerForceMN.com recently changed career search to job search, and that was one of the places where um, it dawned on me that perhaps we can retain that well-known brand of creative job search. Um, uh, so as, I, as, as mentioned, dozens of you have participated in the contest, and one of the most frequent uh, uh, suggestions we had was to leave it alone, um, to retain the Creative Job Search name, which has been around for perhaps a couple of decades at this point, um, <clears throat> and retain that strong brand. As you may or may not know, this Creative Job Search materials are used worldwide. We have shipped uh, 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 orders of creative job search books to other countries. I, I believe we've done New Zealand or Australia in the past. Um, they, they go around uh, the Minnesota, or, or, I mean, this, uh, country a lot. Um, we would like to consider adding a tagline and so some of the submissions that you all have put forth on um, uh, creative job search would uh, potentially be used for a creative tagline that might uh, connect up some of the career force branding to the overall goals of the Creative Job Search Workshop. Um, we're currently hard at work amongst many things revising Creative Job Search and we, ha we plan to have a new version due out sometime this year in 2020. Uh, so thank you again, everybody, who submitted your feedback and ideas for, for renaming this, this important resource and tool. Um, uh, and we're very proud and glad to retain the, the brand um, uh, and also have some ideas for how we may um, enhance it in the future. So thank you. Uh, this is Rita. Just a reminder of regular communications. We kind of run through this every month just to make sure people are aware. Um, you're probably aware of the first one because you're on this webinar, the monthly staff, um, what's new with Career Force staff and partner webinar, the first Thursday of every month, unless it's a holiday. And um, we block up the time from 10 to 11. We usually don't run a whole hour, but um, that is a standing webinar. Um, we also have the weekly staff and partner emails that go out every Thursday. Um, the one uh, for today already went out this morning. And then um, uh, another regular communication is the four staff and partner section of CareerForceMN.com, which is regularly updated, and that's one of the things that we're focusing on on today's webinar. Um, so you can see there on the screen, uh, this is how you get to um, the four staff and partners section. You have, first of all, you have to be logged into your staff and partner account on CareerForceMN.com, and then you can access those four staff and partner only pages. Um, either from up there in the top, in the, uh, the very top of the screen there, you can see at the top um, menu bar, 
by clicking on for staff and partners. And you only see that when you're logged into your staff and partner account, so you need to be logged in. Um, you can also get there by going to my account and then on your dashboard page, which is uh, displayed there on the screen, under my organizations, you can select for staff and partners. Um, so either one of those options, you click on them and you will uh, be able to go to the staff and partners section. So we're gonna go uh, here and quick, uh, take a quick uh, walk through of, um, of the four staff and partners section. So this is the screen you see when you first select four staff and partners. This is the, the home page. It's not very pretty, um, I admit, but um, it does have a full listing there of all the content within the four staff and partners section. So you can see there's the Career Force Library. Um, that's probably the most common place where people go. Um, we'll take a closer look at that here in a, in a couple minutes, but you can see there's templates for flyers, handouts, PowerPoints, uh, the logo files live there, posters, monitor graphics, um, items like that for public display in career force locations are located there, as are flyers, brochures, handouts, and other ready-to-print resources to share with customers. Um, We've got a page that has information for ordering business cards, letterhead, and other materials, um, as well as staff and partner uh, reference materials, newsletter content. There's only two articles in there right now, but we'll beef that up a bit. And uh, success story resources, so release forms for success stories, tips for what kind of things you want to include in a success story, uh, ideas for photo submissions, and that's all included there. Um, we also have diversity, equity, and inclusion resources. Um, that is, uh, there's some basic content there right now. Um, and we do um, plan to add some additional content within the next couple of months. That content is currently under review. Also coming soon, we're going to be adding policies uh, um, after we have the proper review process, including review with mob ops. Um, We'll be posting uh, policies here. Most likely the first policy will be a Career Force logo use policy. Um, and that's coming in the next couple of months as well. Uh, training resources. Uh, we already have quite a few training resources there, including tip sheets, uh, links to videos for common uh, functions, common questions on uh, careerforcemn.com. We've got the release notes for careerforcemn.com, so you can go back. Um, uh, I'll just show you right now, you can go back several, actually about a year now, uh, to see all the developments of careerforcemn.com if you have a lot of time on your hands and you'd like to do that. Um, we've also got a section on best practices. That's a little, um, it's a little slim right now. We will be building that out as well. And then performance measures. So there's a link to the WIOA dashboard um, and other performance uh, reporting information. Um, so we'll take a quick closer look here at what's in the Career Force Library. So again, that's right up at the top of the page. Um, um, so that's uh, back there to the main page for staff and partners and then selecting Career Force Library right up there at the top. Um, and you'll see, so uh, in the Career Force Library, like I mentioned, um, this is probably the section that most people visit to go on the For Staff and Partners section. So if you're looking for, um, like, for example, let's say you want to uh, give a PowerPoint presentation to um, uh, area employers, um, we can go down to the, um, and you want to talk about, you know, resources on careerforcemn.com. You can see a template PowerPoint right there um, that would download uh, for you to use um, and insert your own information to customize as you see fit, uh, including your contact information. Other content here on the site, um, template-wise, um, that's pretty commonly used. We've uh, um, handout templates for on-site hiring events, uh, tem templates for event flyers, um, quite a few different things that people use frequently that you can take and then customize as needed for your own use. Um, we do also have some print ad templates. Those would have to be customized in-house here um, with your information for you to use with, um, for example, a local newspaper that you'd like to place an ad in. Um, 
other content in the Career Force Library that's commonly used. Um, the flyers, brochures, handouts, and other resources to share with customers. So you can see on here we have um, the latest CareerForceMN.com brochure. You can um, download, file, download that file and print it yourself or have it professionally printed. Or if you see this little five-digit number after uh, a piece of content, um, that means that it can also be ordered from the Deed Stockroom um, if you have access to SWIFT. And so there's usually someone in your office who's who's um, able to order materials through SWIFT. Not all the materials in here are in the stock room, but the ones that are, like I said, have that five-digit number after them. We do have some resources in here in languages other than English. This, right now, this is broken out by resources for career seekers and resources for employers. You can see there's also a careerforcemn.com brochure for employers, as well as a flyer. Um, there's a, a one-sheeter there about the benefits of having a, um, an employer profile page on careerforcemn.com and other resources you might want to share with employers. And then another, and we'll just highlight one other item here that uh, comes up very often, uh, request for logo files. Now these are the new logo files that have um, the updated tagline, Minnesota's Career Resource. And that, um, those are all available right there. Um, so if you'd like to download a, a logo, this is the place where you go um, if you need to use that on one of your flyers or other materials. Oh, and we will just take a quick look at success stories. So these, um, we have received quite a few success stories from staff and partners. Um, this is just a, a page that has some additional resources so um, to kind of help with um, uh, on that page, you'll see tips for um, what types of things are great to include in a success story, examples of success stories, um, uh, the release forms in English, Hmong, Spanish, and Somali, uh, as well as a photo tip sheet to help you with um, ideas for uh, how to shoot <coughs> a photo to go with your success story. Um, then just going back quickly to uh, the main for staff and partners page. Um, another um, page that people do visit quite a bit is the training resources page. And this page um, has uh, a compiled document that was created back in August, which has all the staff and partner instructions for using CareerForceMN.com. Um, we also got the uh, all the tip sheets and videos for common functions on CareerForceMN.com, so how to create your account, both a tip sheet and a video. I'm not going to click into these all right now. On um, how to use event search, how to find a location, um, how to do group management and connections. So quite a few different tools, uh, resource tools that are available right there on the training resources page. Also on the training resources page, um, like I mentioned before, the release notes, so you can go back and take a swing through all the latest uh, features and functionality that have been added to CareerForceMN.com, as well as a page with links to all of these uh, webinar recordings. Um, every month, uh, Lisa edits this, and then we post them here on this page, and you can see uh, past webinars to, in, in case you miss any, so you can get caught up. And um, we will be adding additional information here soon. Um, so some other ideas of what we'll probably be adding here would be additional training documents outside of those specifically related to CareerForceMN.com and additional training webinar recordings, again, uh, recordings that aren't specifically related to CareerForceMN.com. And uh, that kind of I think wraps up a lot of what we have on the site. Um, I don't know if we, if people have some questions about uh, what's on the staff and partners section. Um, uh, we would be able to run through that quickly. Mike, did you want to address the comments? Yeah, okay. I, I, there was a question that came up regarding creative job search, uh, and I addressed it in chat, but I think it's important to address, um, uh, to acknowledge it verbally as well, too. 
Um, the question was, should partners be teaching workshops called Creative Job Search if they're not using our materials for that class? Uh, typically, they should be using the Creative Job Search book and materials. We are a little bit a ways away from a consistent PowerPoint, um, but we do have the book and the workbook available, uh, uh, and so that should be uh, used whenever we use the Creative Job Search brand. And uh, the answer about should they be ordering the materials, uh, they are, anybody is able to order those materials. As I referenced earlier, we have shipped these out um, nationwide and worldwide um, using that link that I put in the, uh, uh, in the chat box. Uh, if you, otherwise, if you just Google Creative Job Search Minnesota Bookstore, you'll get right to that same page too if you can't currently see the link. Um, the only other thing I would add to what Rita was saying is that we have intent to move a lot of our job service training resources mm -hmm. to the staff and partners section so that the webinars and recordings and materials that we've, I've gone over monthly and will continue to do so um, in, through 2020 will be available through the CareerForceMN.com staff and partner uh, uh, sections. We just have to carve out a little segment of time in order to get these materials posted. But some of them are already posted there. If you hadn't already noticed, the My Career Search Path, the Employment Readiness Profile, uh, uh, the Job Service Program Guide are all posted in the staff and partners uh, section of CareerForceMN.com already. Okay. Looks like we have a question or, or comment. Is there or will there be a business size card for career seekers to record their CareerForceMN.com and MinnesotaWorks.net login information on? Yes, that information actually is, um, is already on the four staff and partners section. And if you go to um, the um, order materials uh, menu, I'm just doing this from memory, but if you just go to the order materials uh, menu item under the CareerForce library, that's where you can order those. Um, it's got like Minnesota Works login information, CareerForceMN.com login information for people to, to enter. Um, you can see a front, uh, front and a back um, business card example there with that law, um, with those website login kind of, you know, blanks for people to write that information in. And there's also a space for your um, location to have your customized information there, your location, address, and contact information. And those can be ordered there on the page. So, and if you have any, if you think of any other questions after the webinar, you can certainly contact Rita. Uh, you can email her and her contact information is uh, on the last slide. All right, doesn't look like there are any more questions, so I'll just go ahead and move on and cover the CareerForceMN.com updates. We'll cover the close or exit, X, accessibility improvements, employer dashboard tab removed, improved button readability, breadcrumb trails improvement, executive order 19-38, senior community service employment program service cards, and the last one, legacy CareerForce demonstration grant service cards. So the first one, this is what the new uh, exit prompt will look like up in the right corner, upper uh, right hand corner is the X. Uh, this, uh, the update ensures a predictable intuitive experience for users looking to close sections or exit experiences within the site. Accessibility improvement. Uh, accessibility related back end improvements were implemented to ensure that the decision tree function, function used on the home page and other pages can be consumed and read by screen reader technology, which is used by individuals and different types uh, with different types of disabilities. These improvements will not be apparent to the two individuals not using assistive technology. Uh, a, a check on 1,497 pages showed a reduction in accessibility errors from 49 pages to seven pages. So although you can't see this, it's great to know that folks who do have some type of disability, there's some improvement for them on, on the web, on the platform. We'll see if anybody for the employers, uh, this is what the employer dashboard would look like. Uh, the <clears throat> My Goals and Experience tab has now been removed. 
and they just have the three tabs. Uh, there's been an improved button readability. Users will see white text on a colored background on buttons in the site. This update ensures standardized readability of text on the buttons. And the breadcrumb trails improvements, users will see breadcrumb trails on white backgrounds on all the pages on the site. This update ensures standardized readability of text that displays the user's location on QueryForceMN.com. So then the next one is the Executive Order 19-38. Which, which has been established by the governor. Uh, it establishes the Governor's Council on the Age-Friendly Minnesota. Uh, governor, Waltz commit, governor Walt is committed to making Minnesota an age-friendly state. So here's a quote from him. Everyone wants to live in a community that is respectful, inclusive, and supportive of our contributions and needs. This executive order coordinates efforts across agencies and sectors to move all all of us forward in an age-friendly Minnesota. The executive order sets in motion Minnesota's path to being uh, designated as an age-friendly state by the AARP Network of Age-Friendly State and Territories Program. The Governor's Council on the Age-Friendly Minnesota will quick will guide the development of a comprehensive assessment, assessment and action plan to coordinate work across state, local, and tribal governments, nonprofits, communities, businesses, and others in support of the aging adults in Minnesota. I don't know if any, Mike, anybody know about this more that can speak on it? Uh, the only thing I can say is that Lori Janitopoulos is one of the, uh, uh, our department's um, representatives on this topic, and so we will be very closely connected to it in career force. Great. Thank you, Mike. So here is also uh, one of our colleagues had mentioned that we don't have the Senior Community Service Employment Program service cards on the website, so now it is on there. This is an age-friendly uh, effort, and actually this has been a program that's been in uh, been around for years, uh, but this one is an example of the Shakopee, the Shakopee service card. Uh, six more cards will be added soon. And then there is the Legacy, Legacy Career Force Demonstration Grant Service Card, which is another age-friendly effort. The Legacy Grant, uh, here's an example for Blaine, three other uh, service cards include the Arrowhead Economic Opportunity Agency, Washington County Workforce Development and Duluth Workforce Development, which is the city of Duluth. Uh, so this one, um, I believe, just like uh, the, um, the Senior Community Service Employment Programs card, um, they will help folks who are 55 and older who are under or and unemployed. Um, the program is an intensive program. It will help the participants overcome barriers to employment and gain skills. They need to successfully find and keep a job. So let's see. And that was it. That was a quick cover uh, over of the updates. And the next section is the employer navigator update. Maybe Mike just wants to kick off the uh, feedback on this. And I think the, the question was on um, what would be helpful for people mm -hmm. um, as employer services resources, um, either as a topic here on um, a topic here on the webinar, or as some other resource that could be provided to help uh, us better serve employers. Yes, so that so we're just opening it up at now at this point. Please use the chat box to let us know what employer services resources would be helpful to you all. Um, who are uh, fulfilling the role of employer navigator or supporting an employer navigator or just serve businesses or employers as part of your day-to-day -day work. What resources would be helpful for you all to see in whether it's in the staff and partner section of the, of the website, future updates. Um, <clears throat> uh, please use the chat box um, or, or I believe you can Unmute yourself using the, uh, 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 if you have a, a comment you'd like to add or a question. Uh, the floor is open for questions mm -hmm. and suggestions. Like 
we have one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is there any talk of being bringing back business service reps? <clears throat> there is no talk that I'm aware of about bringing back business services representatives. Uh, we we still have the workforce strategy consultants um, who are fulfilling that role. Uh, it, and if there's any questions about work that would typically done by a business services representative, um, I would encourage you to reach out to your local workforce strategy consultant um, or your manager um, or your local employer navigator for, for work that was previously done by the business services representatives. This is Steve in Bloomington. Yes, Steve, go ahead. Hey, I came up with a new thing uh, that I'm going to start uh, next month, and I've talked to a couple of employers. I'm going to invite them into my interview class and uh, pose interview questions to them and ask them to respond how they would like to see the uh, job seekers respond. And they're very happy with uh, that because then they can promote their company and still help individual job seekers. That's a, a, a very nice idea for how to involve employers in career force activities. Um, uh, and not just because I, I know Steve well from a, as, as having formerly worked with him in Bloomington, but uh, 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 thank you for sharing that idea with us, Steve. Um, and hopefully others can use that uh, to foster some good relations with the employers. Definitely. Thanks. Excellent idea. Um, we have two questions. Uh, first one, assistance with a plan for communication locally to engage employers with their career force location. Um, that's a... Uh, as much a request as it is a question, I think. <laughs> um, uh, we are frequently talking about how we in improve employer engagement with career force locations. It's one of our OKRs, objectives with key results, um, is to increase employer interaction with not only our online tools, but also our career force staff and locations. And so that is ongoing, um, uh, and you will see um, uh, in 2020, more outreach from DEED and Career Force to employers uh, as we reach out to employers and ensure that we are um, offering the best services and resources to employers to connect with the seekers that we all work with in Career Force. Just as a reminder, you all who work in Career Force have something that employers desperately need. There are very few places in the state of Minnesota where unemployed individuals are going in numbers as, that we are seeing in career force locations. And so making a connection point back to the employers of Minnesota is a big way that we are successful in serving them. And so that is an ongoing um, effort um, that we have and we'll continue to do that into 2020. Great, thank you, Mike. We have another, we have a couple other questions. The next one is, hi all. How do employers post their job fairs, open houses, at, at their sites as they used to be able to do so on the former DEED site under hiring events? As I understand it, that, what, that website, that DEED website still exists, and so they should still be able to post there um, as part of career force integration. Um, we have had several discussions about moving those events to the careerforcemn.com website. Um, unfortunately, uh, it, it is a bigger undertaking than simply redirecting that calendar. Um, it would have to be recreated in some form or another. And so it, it, uh, for the time being, the um, uh, previous resources that were available are still available and we are having ongoing and frequent meetings to discuss how to move that over to careerforcemn.com. Perfect. Thank you, Mike. This one might be directed to Rita. So how do we submit social media posts for local on-site hiring events? That's one, part one. Has there been more of a push for social media to get their younger crowd into the CF locations? Yeah, there's, um, there's been an ongoing um, effort to share events uh, via social media. You can submit them via the regular communications portal requests if you have access to the DEN. 
Um, if you do not, you can email us at careerforce at state.min.us and we will um, share your event on social media. Um, we've done this, um, I mean, some sites I think uh, probably have utilized this more than, than others, but uh, those, those are the two routes and that is ongoing right now. And then the second part, so that would be, does that apply to, is there social media to younger crowded in the RCF locations? Yeah, it's kind of one and the same right now. We don't have a separate communications plan for a younger crowd. I think there is part of, um, there is a larger discussion about how we um, better leverage um, career force um, as a career planning, I guess, resource for all young people. But that's, you know, kind of a larger discussion. Okay. Great, thank you. And uh, we have another one. The job fairs are housed in Career Force, and the form for submissions is there, is also there. I, I'm just putting the link in here now. It's yeah. actually still you can see it as a portal through to the Trumba site, but right. you can submit them on Career Force, and I'm putting the link in the chat here right now. Perfect. Thank you. And, and also the link for the actual calendar as well. Um, I, I uh, <laughs> the the uh, seed website apparently is replicated over on CareerForceMN.com now, but it's um, through try. It's all uh, back end yep. technical stuff, but it's uh, yep. on the Trumba site. But there's an iframe portal through to CareerForce. Don't ask me the details. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but it shows up on CareerForceMN. Yeah. We intend for that to be much better integrated than yes. what it currently looks like now. Although, thankfully, I was incorrect with what I said earlier, and it is not a part of CareerForceMN.com now. It does show up there, but they're not showing up as part of the same calendar of events as all the other events, mm -hmm. and so that's the thing that we're trying to get right. integrated so that way people can see everything in one calendar, otherwise it's yep. not very helpful to people. Yep. Well, those are some really great questions and comments and requests. Um, certainly if you have more, go ahead and include that. Um, otherwise, you know, I'm just gonna move on to the, the last slide. Oh, it looks like we have one. Uh, you get to it via the questions answered deal. You get, uh, select I need to find a job right now, and then there is attend a job fair. Thank you. Um, have we thought about creating our own Career Force account for access to Reference USA or other B2B2 B2, B2, B2B2 data databases? Uh, that is among the creative ideas that we are frequently discussing for how to make uh, Career Force MN.com more. Um, uh, helpful for staff, partners, employers, career seekers, and everybody. Uh, this, while that specific resource or other business-to-business -business databases have been may not have been specifically considered, we um, frequently look at the idea of incorporating other databases into the system, uh, particularly Career One Stop um, uh, and others. But uh, that is a good suggestion, Jim, and I and I encourage. Um, you and everybody to su submit ideas like this to careerforce at state.mn.us. These types of ideas um, that would make career force more valuable to you, to your customers, to your partners, your coworkers, to employers, um, to, to job seekers. All these types of submissions and ideas are tracked, and and we appreciate any any of them. Great. Well, as you see in the slide, there is contact uh, that if you have any questions, you can certainly contact Rita or Mike or myself or even Lena Bulk with minnesotaworks.net. If you have any questions about the employer accounts, um, but feel free to reach out to any one of us uh, with any questions or concerns that you have. Otherwise, I think we're gonna go ahead and close the webinar for today, unless anyone else has any more questions or comments. Wonderful, that'll do it. Happy New Year, thank you all, and look forward to having this webinar uh, recorded or captioned next week. Have a great weekend. Thank you, thank you everybody.